This smart band is only $15. Is it going to be any good? Let's find out. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at this. This is a smart band, as you can see, as it says it there. Now this has come over from the guys over at the Spinning Deal, and in fairness, actually, this was sent to me a long time ago for review, and it's been one of those things that's been sat at the back of the cupboard, and I've always thought, oh, I better get around to have a look at that. And today, I've done that, I've charged it up, had a look at it, and actually, this thing is really good. And for only $15, it takes a awful lot of boxes, and it's probably going to be an amazing present for someone's birthday or Dare I say it, the C word, Christmas is coming up pretty soon, so maybe a good time to get some of these in quickly before the prices start going up closer to Christmas. So let's take a look at the box and see what the specs are and go through what it can and can't do. Okay, so product features and details. This is compatible with both Android and iOS Bluetooth devices. You've got IPX67 waterproof rating. Not ideal for swimming, but um, showers, washing your hands, no problems at all. You've got the typical raise hand to light the screen. You've got a charge time of roughly one to two hours. Tiny dimensions is a very small thing. It's got a one inch screen. You've got a monitor for both the heart rate and your sleep and blood pressure. How it does that, I'll never know. You've got also notifications for incoming calls, messages and reminders. Your display has got the date, the time and possibly the weather if you set it. Also you get Facebook notifications, email notifications, Twitter notifications and all sorts of notifications that are coming through to your mobile phone. You've got data storage of up to seven days worth of data. So if you can't sync with your phone and you're away, maybe on a holiday or whatever, and you haven't got your phone, it'll track the data for seven days. And then when you get back, you can sync it all up in one go. It counts steps, calories, and distances. You've got a standby time of up to seven days. And like I said, you've got a one inch OLED screen with a 128 by 64 bit color display. Well, not bit, it's dots, but you know what I mean. So in the box, what do we get? There is the tracker itself. Now this one's actually in red. Now there's a, a choice of colors you can get. So this is the red, there's a blue, green, teal, black, etc., etc. So you can choose your own. Again, I'll put the links in the description below so you can check out it for yourself. Uh, maybe there's a color that is right up your street. Maybe you want just the plain black. Uh, I kind of like the red. It's kind of got a nice color tone to it. It's not that kind of washed out red. It looks looks pretty nice. Also, we get a user guide, which is in both English and Chinese and takes you through steps of installing the app and how everything works, how to charge it, etc., etc. Um, essentially, you have to use the Yoho app, which is available both iOS and Android. Nice and easy to get hold of from both the uh, Google Play Store and also the iOS App Store. So this is the device itself. It's uh, pretty nice looking, pretty compact and very lightweight indeed extremely lightweight. Uh, the strap itself is a TPU plastic kind of leather, so flexible and also reliable. A little bit on the kind of brittle side, I would say personally, uh, in comparison with other trackers. But essentially, if you take in comparison to like a, a 200 pound iWatch or Apple Watch or whatever you call them, uh, for $15, obviously this is gonna be in a different league altogether but still very well made. All the edges meet up nicely uh, where the strap itself meets the tracker. There's very, very little um, kind of overlap of plastics. It's a very smooth, nice design. So no jagged edges to catch yourself on. We like that a lot. So on the front, we've got the touch screen, which if I touch, it will light up. So showing you the time date, we'll get some close-ups that in a little bit. On the back, you've got the heart rate sensor, which if I put it into heart rate mode, by pressing on the screen and the light should come on and start flickering. So that is gonna be measuring your pulse when it's attached to your body. And also, if you press it again, you've also got the blood pressure monitor, which I don't even know how it does that. There's some kind of wizardry going on there. Normally you go to the doctors and they strap that thing on your arm and pump it up and then take a reading. And it'll feel like someone's strangling your arm, but somehow this manages to do it using the photo sensor inside it. It's incredible. and. In fairness to the device, both myself and Kath have both tried this with our pulses and also our blood pressure. And surprisingly, I don't know how it does it, but it is remarkably accurate. So if you want it to measure your blood pressure or you want a heart rate regularly, for £15, this is actually a really good buy. And pretty much the same price as one of those standalone blood pressure monitors. So you get a lot of extra features 
all in one. It's brilliant. So what we'll do is now, we'll give you a close-up of the screen and we'll go through the different settings so you can have a look and see what is actually on the screen. Obviously you can't see it from there, so we'll get it in front of you. Okay, so here is the screen, so that is what you would expect to see normally. So there's the monitor, and it turns off actually pretty quickly to save batteries, which is uh, really good for you for just checking the time or whatever. But actually, if you want to record a video, it's not brilliant. So basically you've got the time, the date, your battery level, uh, the Bluetooth connectivity in the top left hand corner and the bottom it, where it says zero, that is my current amount of steps because I've just done a factory reset. So there's no steps recorded. Uh, next one up on the, on the uh, list is your step counter. Gain zero steps because I just reset. Then you've got your distances. After that, you've got your calories. Then you've got your heart rate monitor. So if you leave that on there, it'll measure your heart rate. And then you also got your blood pressure monitor, which is a uh, slightly insane and like I said that does actually register so we'll look at the app in a minute and you can see what it's already taken uh, readings of. So you've got battery level was the next one and then you've got your MAC address and then you're back to the beginning again. So there we go all in all it's a nice little device, nice and easy to use, the tap sensor works really well or touch sensor whichever it is but yeah it's quite nice for skipping through and the OLED screen looks uh, really nice and bright and punchy. Again for $15 it's uh, insane, what's $15 in pounds that's about £11.50, £12, something like that. It's, a, it's not a lot of money at all. And if you order this from the Spin and Deal, you get free shipping in the US. You do pay a little bit of shipping for the rest of the world, but again, it's they're pretty lightweight, so it isn't going to cost you a great deal. So let's take a look at the app and we'll go through some of the other features. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the uh, Play Store. So this is the uh, Yoho Sports app, which you can install. And it's had uh, 5 million plus downloads, so it should be absolutely fine. It's part of the Play Store, so you've got the Google Protect and all that kind of stuff. And it's actually got 3.6 uh, stars, so that's actually not too bad at all. Anyway, let's go back to the app itself. So this is the app as it would start up. So first of all, on the main screen, you've got your steps. You swipe across and you get your sleep counter. You swipe across again, you get your heart rate. So you can press the, uh, the button on there. And you probably see now the, uh, the green lights come on to measure your heart rate which obviously it won't do because it's, uh, well, it's not on the wrist. Uh, blood pressure, again, same one. So you just press the, the play button there. And it, uh, well, actually, as soon as it's finished doing the other test, you can then go on and do your blood pressure test. And as you can see, it's taken some readings already, which uh, myself and Kath have been trying. And uh, yeah, it's not as if it takes one generic reading. It actually does seem to have differences. And we tried on different wrists and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it uh, definitely does show up some different things. So it does appear to work. How it works, I do not know. It's some kind of magic, but it certainly does seem to work. So anyway, let's go into the settings. So in the profile setting, you can set your age, gender, height, weight, etc., etc. And as you do that, that will then tailor the results and also the notifications for you. So if your heart rate goes a little bit too high or a little bit too low, then you get notifications, all that kind of stuff. And also you can see it in the app and tailor it against what you should be expecting to reach at your age and weight, size, etc, etc. Uh, you can also change your goals as well. So uh, your activity goal is set as a default 8,000 steps. Maybe you want to up that to 10,000 to get your uh, energy levels up and do a bit more exercise. Your sleep goal is set for eight hours, which I think is pretty much known worldwide as being kind of the, the optimal amount for most humans. Obviously, some people prefer a little bit less, some people prefer a little bit more, but Generally, eight hours sleep is uh, the optimal condition, so you can set that for your sleep goal. If you're a five hours person or a six hours person or a 10 hours person, maybe you're a student and you're a 14 hours person, then you can set it for whatever you want as your goals. Uh, also, you can set your units distance, miles, kilometer, height, you can do centimeters or feet, weight, you can do pounds or kilos, all that kind of stuff. So it's nice and easy to do. Uh, there's a device there so you can pair with it. You can, uh, it says there it's bound, so that means it's connected. It gives you the idea of firmware, etc. Uh, notifications, so you've got all these different notifications you can have for incoming call, SMS, WeChat, QQ, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, Line, uh, and you can turn the vibration on or off with a simple toggle. Also, you've got the shake for selfie, so you can set up so that if you've got your camera app, you can just uh, shake your wrist and it'll take a selfie, which is uh, kind of nice. You've got the smart alarm, so you can set alarms for yourself. Uh, I think you can set up to three different smart alarms. You've got the option for fine band, so it'll just vibrate wherever it is. Um, firmware upgrade, add accounts and version, all that stuff. Features you've got. So inactivity is actually quite a good one. So if you uh, slide that on, you can set your inactivity. So if you haven't done anything for 60 minutes, it will wake you up 
or notify you, vibrate and say, like, come on, you need to do some work or you need to move around. Uh, activate on wrist raise. So if you want to see the time when you flick your wrist, like you would on most activity trackers, then you can turn that on or off. Maybe you're in an environment where you don't want that to happen, so you can turn it on or off to suit your particular needs. Um, I think that is pretty much it for the settings, actually. Uh, fine bound, yep, yeah, that is pretty much it. I can't think of anything else that you'd actually want or need. Um, you've got options in there as well, you can share your steps. And also this will synchronize with the uh, Apple Fit as well, or the Apple Health or whatever it is on the Apple devices these days. So if you want to integrate your data from this with your Apple iOS, uh, you can also with this app as well. So you can have your information pretty much on wherever you want. So actually for 15 pounds, sorry, $15 or about 12 or 13 pounds, however much it is, this is actually really, really impressive considering it's kind of basically a 10th of the price of the iWatch or Apple Watch or whatever it's called these days. This actually does represent fantastic value for money. And also it's one of those things that if you're in a kind of working busy environment, maybe you're like a mechanic or you're working in sewers or trenches or whatever, real dirty, nasty, horrible jobs, one of these devices actually is gonna be absolutely fine. You're not gonna to have to be panicking every time you get near anything sharp or you have to carry rubble or you brush up against something because it's one of those kind of almost disposable devices for that kind of money. Yet it does offer you a lot of features. So definitely on my recommended list. So if you want to check one out, links will be in the description below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we will be catching you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.